Yes, FedEx came through. I got it. Yes, they did. For, I mean, first thing this morning, I got my new, uh, it's, a, it's a new laptop. And so what I've got to do this weekend, I've got to migrate from the old laptop to the new one. I love doing this kind of stuff. It, you know, it, it can it can screw up and take uh, hours. I don't know. I just like it. And I got a couple of new iPad Airs, and I got to upgrade the current old iPads to the new ones. And I like doing that stuff, too. Uh, just like being on the cutting edge, folks. Anyway, Open Line Friday, we always try to take more calls on Friday than we Really make a concerted effort to get some in in the first hour. And the, the reason why Open Line Friday is a different day than Monday through Thursday in, is that whatever you want to talk about pretty much is okay. That's not the rule Monday through Thursday. Monday through Thursday, you have to talk about something Snurdly thinks I'm going to be interested in. But on Friday, we broom that. If whatever, you have a question or comment or, or talk about something that... Um, hasn't been discussed in your mind, feel free, have at it. I've always looked at this as a golden opportunity for people and as a giant career risk and to me. Happy to take it and I always look forward to it. Again, telephone number 800-282-2882. Last night, you ready for this? On the CBS Evening News, we have a portion of surprise this woman still works, surprise this woman still employed, I'm surprised she still walks. Cheryl Atkinson at CBS News with this report. I don't know how they got this one past Scott Pelley, but they did. 4.7 4.7 million unique visits in the first 24 hours. But at a meeting Wednesday morning, the War Room notes say six enrollments have occurred so far. They were with Blue Cross, Blue Shield, North Carolina and Kansas City, CareSource and Healthcare Service Corporation. By Wednesday afternoon, enrollments were up to approximately 100. By the end of Wednesday, the notes reflect 248 enrollments nationwide. The health care exchanges need to average 39,000 enrollees a day to meet the goal of 7 million by March 1st. They had six enrollments on the first day at Obamacare. Six. As in six, as in one, two, three, four, five, six enrollments. They touting 4.7 million visits, unique visits. People went to healthcare.gov. Six people signed up in the whole country. Six people. Now, I don't care if the website isn't working and doesn't and it has glitches. That doesn't explain six people signed up for Obamacare. And never have been asking Sibelius and Obama to release enrollment figures. Oh, no, no, we can't do that. It's so hard. It's so large. It's uh, uh, nothing reliable yet. It's uh, continuing to be a fluid situation. We can't possibly. Well, let John Stewart know uh, when we've uh, figured it out. And and, and, and until then, uh, just trust us. It's really going gang. But six people, folks. Six people. I know it, it doesn't sound possible. Six people. Six people signed up? Who are they? Six people. I mean, it just, it's, it's, uh, their website, 600 and some odd million dollars. Uh, they got six people. It launched on a Tuesday. 4.7 million unique visits in the first 24 hours. Um, they, you know, this, they, they say they need 39,000 enrollees a day to meet the goal of 7 million by March, but that's not even going to get us where we need to be. 7 million is nothing. We're, th- th- this is, I don't care how you look at this. It's an embarrassment. It's a, it's a, it's an, it's an abject failure. It's a 100% clear failure. And now the drive-bys in our healthcare stack, Ezra Klein, the wonderkind young guy from the Washington Post, age 19, thinks if he's lived a life of 100 years, that's the experience I think the guy's got. They're all worried now. 
They're all worried. The drive-by Democrats, the the drive-by media leftists or big proponents of the regime, they're really worried that what this says is that big government really can't do big things. And they're afraid people are going to figure that out. They're really worried that people are going to conclude that government just can't do big things. And that's just such a shame. As though that's something new to people. A government can't do big things is standard operating procedure. And it ought to be something that everybody knows.